If I could pick only one tab to do all my work, it would be the Traffic Sources tab. Whenever I examine a client's account for the first time, this is the first place I go. To really understand the difference these reports can make, it's worth stepping back and looking things in perspective. There's a very famous person in the business world many of you may know by the name of John Wanamaker. A very successful retail magnate, one of the things he's famous for is the phrase, I fully believe half the money I spend on advertising is wasted. The trouble is I don't know which half. And back in his day, this was just sort of accepted as a cost of doing business. And it wasn't really a problem because the playing field was level. Everybody had the same problem, and what were you going to do? Not advertise? But these days, that doesn't necessarily apply. With accurate analytics on my site, I can evaluate my marketing programs and understand exactly which ones are working and which ones aren't. I know exactly where the money I'm spending on marketing campaigns is being effective and where it's not. So I don't have to waste half the money on advertising because I simply can't track which ones are working and which ones aren't. In other words, accurate analytics is a major competitive advantage. Now, it's funny. When I talk to clients, sometimes I see the reverse psychology is more motivating. Some people are mildly excited when they see what's possible, but it's only when they realize that in a very short time, all of their competitors will have this information, and they'll still be the only ones wasting 50% of their marketing budget, fear and panic start to take over. In some ways, it is an arms race. Let's make sure you've got the adequate firepower. Now, analytics is going to split all of our traffic up into three main buckets. In this case, we've got referring sites, search engines, and direct traffic. Referring sites are just a fancy way of saying that these are links. These are links where some other website has referred traffic over to yours. Search engines are just special cases of this where Google Analytics recognizes that these aren't just any websites. These are search engines, and it's able to pull out keywords from the URL as well. Direct traffic in many ways is the absence of information. Google Analytics wasn't able to figure out any other way of understanding where this traffic came from, either automatically, like it does in the referring sites, or manually tagging, which we'll take a look at later. So direct traffic, we realized that a visit came and people did things, but it wasn't able to apply any other information to it or tag it in any other bucket, and therefore it becomes the direct none tag. As we'll see, this direct referring sites and search engines reports are reflected here in the direct traffic overview. In this chapter, we'll go in depth in each one of these reports, and I think you'll agree that a few minutes of browsing these reports in this section can be invaluable for understanding where your traffic is coming from, which is a fundamental pillar of analysis.